Hi, I'm Sarah, and you are watching SJO Creative. This channel is dedicated to my yarn shop that I'm opening. I'm in the process of putting the shop itself together. I got the keys last week and went to Ikea, bought a bunch of furniture, and I've got all that now built, and I'm gonna show you that in this vlog today. I've had a bunch of things happen. I got a couple chairs and I brought a table that I refurbished on my other channel. And then I have a delivery. These are two sofas. And then I also bought this register table. So I am just gonna be assembling my couch or my sofas and uh, setting things up so that it's cozy. I also am taking this high top table that I got in the as is section at Ikea and I am outfitting it to work for the store. So right now I've got a piece of pegboard that I cut to the size and then I also have some beadboard on the side here. And all I've done so far is just use my nail gun with like one inch nails and secure it in a few spaces. The pegboard for sure I'm going to need to put some braces up because it's gonna be holding merchandise. Um, this, the beadboard feels pretty secure, so I think that might be good. <laughs> so if you haven't already started watching my vlog, you can go back to episode one and see sort of like the beginning phases when I first decided that I was going to sort of record this whole process. This is episode three and we are really getting into the best part, which is like setting up the store, the visual arts, merchandising the really really yummy good fun stuff and i am just having so much fun i am loving it so i'm really really happy and my space i think is turning out really really cute i do have a tv in here and i was going to be playing um youtube videos maybe of uh knitting crochet my own vlog <laughs> channel <laughs> Um, so if you are interested in this, please consider subscribing so you can follow along on my journey. Once the store is open, I will be continuing my vlog and letting you guys know what is going on in the store and how things are going. And also, I am going to make a bunch of tutorial videos that will be available, um, some to you, some to people that become members of the shop. And I will talk about that later. Also, I still haven't created that. <laughs> So it's on my to-do list. Sarah, make a membership. It's part of the plan. I'm going to do it. I have plans. <laughs> and guess what else? I brought my microphone here so that I don't sound crazy in the video. So hopefully you can hear me. La, 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 la. Me, 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 me. Check, check, check. <laughs> okay. All right. So basically, this was just a high top table. I had um, an extra bar stool height like stool from um, Ikea that I had from years ago. So I brought that in and I put that behind the desk. Actually, you wanna see? Okay, everything's kind of not very tidy, but so, oh, and here are my little knit stitch. Doing all different colors and um, kind of in that family though. And I am putting them in different places around the store because I think it makes it pretty. And it's removable vinyl, so I can always take it off. So this is a high top. You can see how tall it is, but it's a really good register desk. Um, height and then I have my chair back here and I have my computer and all like the components. You can see the back of the pegboard and then I have this drawer um, unit that I used 
for my balloons that I need to like relabel and organize. I actually don't even have things in most of the drawers. The things I do have are like, you know, and then I have a bunch of shopping bags that I had left um, and I relabeled. Uh, so yeah, I am about to get into putting some pegboard on this wall and that wall. For sure behind the register desk, I wanna put all my needles that I'm selling and yeah, we're gonna go from there. But I was thinking that it would look nice, like symmetrically to have it here and there. Let me know what you think in the comments below. But uh, yeah, I was buying all the materials at the Home Depot. Like I got these one by twos to put for behind them, behind the pegboard. And I had like trim in my cart as well. And I was like, okay, it's only like $2.99 or something like that. No, that was per foot and I had 64 feet. <laughs> and it was $190 or something in that range. I don't know, it was an insane amount of money. And I was like, um, I'm not gonna get the trim. It's gonna be trimless pegboard. <laughs> oh, and I wanted to show you one more thing. I brought this picture. I had this commissioned by like an amazing artist. And if I can find her, I will link her below. But this is a painting that I, it's like a digital art painting of Charlotte. And then I gave that photo to this artist among, among other photos and she made it look like knitting. Can you see that? That's so gorgeous. So I brought that from home and that's hanging in the store. Got a mirror up, hi. And um, yeah, now I'm just kind of, there's my miter saw getting to work and, um, oh, I gotta put the lid on that bin so that it doesn't get sawdust in it. Hmm. Oh, I got my Likey Swifts. These are bags um, that my mom, Tina, made. Look at these, okay? These are little like notions pouches. My mom is like, hey, I made something new. I want you to see it. And she shows me these. She can make them in three different sizes. And I'm like, make more. <laughs> They're gorgeous. I love them. I'm obsessed with them. So yes. Uh, yeah. And I also have my knitting pants on today. So when you see me working, you're going to be very impressed. I just already know it. Okay. <laughs> Get to work, Sarah. Okay. <laughs> Um, so I have four pieces cut and I figured before I do anything with my other, uh, framing, I'm going to see about putting this one up. My thought process was to get it level on the wall and tape it <laughs> with masking tape and then drive some screws into it. Hopefully that works. I just want to make sure that it is level. The other thing, uh, uh about it is when I have to hang the actual pegboard, which I'm just gonna use my nail gun for, I feel like I'm gonna need a second pair of hands so that someone can hold it while I'm shooting the, the nails. By the way, did you see my shirt? Charlotte got me for Mother's Day. It is Mother's Day today, so I'm not sure when I'm posting this video, but uh, we had brunch, it was amazing, and she's at my mom's house now and they're sewing, and I am here at the shop trying to get this done. All right, so here I go, let's see. I've got my one, my like one piece that is already cut. I attempted a 45 degree angle. I can't, my miter saw, I don't understand how to get it started. So I used my rotor razor and so they're not precise, but precise enough, I feel like. All right, so I'm just gonna try and get it level. Let me see.
again. So level, level, um, the corners don't exactly match up, but it's going to be covered by drywall, not drywall. It's going to be covered by headboard. So it will be fine. So you don't actually have a pegboard video that I did differently. And I will put that in, maybe I'll put it in cards or um, as a suggested video at the end. So you can see my first ever pegboard. This is now, I think my third. Yeah, I never met someone like you. Oh, to your mama, she a blessing. There's nothing that I would undo. We'll never hit the yes, snows on you. Always trying to show you something new to you. Only want to treat you right. Never leave your side. Always on my mind. I memorize, fantasize everything about you. Okay, so what I'm doing, which is probably not the professional way to do this, is I drilled holes through, I leveled this, I drilled holes through it into the wall. Then I took a little bit of a larger drill bit and drilled big enough holes for my anchors. Here, I'll show you. So I've got three anchor, anchors there, there, and there. And then now I'm screwing these screws into the wood enough where just like the tip sticks out and that way I can line it up with all of those anchors before I screw it in and then I'll know it's like super secure into the wall. I've got this piece and one more piece to go and then I'm going to be putting up the pegboard with my nail gun because this frame will be super secure to the wall. Okay, so I'm going to attempt to hang this by myself. If it does not work out, then I'm going to go ask for help. This, my sister might be able to hold it up. Oh my god, so all I have is nails in the bottom, <clears throat> but it's level enough, and I'm just going to secure the rest of it, and I'm going to peg it out and put my needles up here, and I don't know if I'm going to do another pegboard today, I'm tired. I have a bunch of three inch hooks left over from the old yarn shop, and so I'm just going to peg this out because I'm planning on just putting needles on and I feel like this length is fine. I have longer hooks if I was going to hang yarn, which I think I'm going to put a pegboard on that side over there. That would be like longer pegs so that I can fit more skeins of yarn on each peg. So here goes. <laughs> So now that I have the top pegs in, they're approximately what I think I will need. Um, so I just have to wash my hands and then I'm gonna start putting some of the inventory out and see how it looks. I was gonna paint this whole thing, but I feel like it looks fine for now and I can always paint it later because I need to get things done. <laughs> I also have to break up, break down a ton of cardboard and uh, I'm gonna just put it on speedy mode and film myself doing that because it's a lot of cardboard. <laughs>
I see you checking out my knit pants. I can't remember where I got them from, but they are so cool. I mean, not just the end, but I could pull these off. You've got to be confident. <laughs> Yeah, I never met someone like you Oh, to your mama, she a blessing There's nothing that I would undo We'll never hit CS news on you Always trying to show you something new to you Only wanna treat you right Never leave your side Always on my mind, I memorize, fantasize everything about you